All right, so Crowth is saying my girlfriend's trying to make it out of bronze, and it's terrible. Win one, lose three. It's all Splinter Spam. Yeah. Uh, Crowth, so I don't know that they necessarily fixed it from, like, a playable standpoint. But here's the thing. I think bronze, just as a league, sucks. Like, the meta within that league. There, there's not enough abilities that, like, certain cards and certain, like, things will just dominate the entire time. So, to be honest with you, every time that I, I'm in bronze or I have an account that's starting off in bronze... I just I just rent uh Llama Myler Golem Crowley. or Llama uh oh you rent Myler? Yeah, Myler, um, either one of those. Myler's yeah. good. I, I just I just go I just go hand with it. I go Myler uh, not Myler, but Llama Cron or Llama Golem. And it, as if if you can roll to get a light or uh, earth splinter or earth yeah. focus, whatever it is, I will just use that to rampage my way through. I don't like I don't even watch the battles. I just like click it, get through, and then once I'm in silver, the game opens up so much more. I agree with that. Yeah, so 100% agree. I don't know that there's anything that they can fix. It's just the, the game is so much more interesting at higher levels that bronze just feels like a crapshoot. So, and then you throw in a bunch of bots that are playing the most optimized decks against you, and it makes it worse. So, what's your uh, girlfriend's uh, IGN? Um, we'll send help. How about that? Well, there you go, Dark Sight. We'll, we'll send the delegation to help out. All right, Team Phoenix, uh, you can put, oh, my. Monster there. All right. Does do you offer coaching? Oh, this is some opportunity here for you, Darkest Knight. No. <laughs> uh, this is not good enough for that. <laughs> so yeah, not at all. Guys, Darkest Knight offers a uh, it's it's a, a premium coaching service. We call oh, yeah. it. I do we, not. We, we call it we call it Monsters After Dark. Uh, you can reach out to me and I. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Okay. Um, no, no, but again, we there's so much content out there, right? So the key is. Uh, tools, you know, having the right tools, having the right meta cards. I think um, as a community, we do a really good job of saying what the meta is right now, right? Um, so, so for example, if you know there's a critical card um, that's beating you all the time, um, you want to get that card yourself, right? Mm -hmm. It's just hard. I mean, I think we all play enough games to know what's constantly kicking our butt. Right now, interestingly enough, I can't tell what's specifically kicking my butt, right? Because everybody's really good and everybody has the same cards I have and it's literally positioning, um, you know, and trying to really anticipate what the other person's going to do. If I can anticipate, I win. But most times people are anticipating me, right? So, so I guess that was coaching. So I guess, yes. No, we, 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 we do live streams every so often. So yeah, you can come through and ask your questions whenever yeah. you... Whenever we're here. All right. Uh, Godseal is here. All right. What does Amplify do? If you don't have Yoden, what's Venator's use? I can't figure out. All right. So Amplify uh, just doubles, not, or not, I shouldn't say doubles, increases the damage from things like Magic Reflect, Thorns, and what's the last one? Return Fire. Return Fire, which so. is phenomenal. Because if yeah. you, so for example, how I use it, right? Again, I think I said it earlier, is uh, Alamo Cambio, which is a great card. Right, because mm -hmm. um, there's lots of especially with Kitty, right? So use it with Kitty. Um, it can't you can't put affliction on it, so you can always heal it. It has a high number of of, um, of health, right? So it heals for a lot, and all the while it's sending all those attacks back, right? So it's really good for a no a no melee um, you know rule set. So and again, the reflex and the return fire gets plus one, so it's 50% increase over not having it. So can't go wrong. So instead of doing two points of damage, it's doing three, and that's a lot. Man, can you imagine if Amplify stacked? That'd be crazy. Uh, that's probably why they didn't make it stack. I know. It'd be so, <laughs> it'd be so fun, though. Yeah. Uh, especially with them coming out. I agree that Bronze sucks. All right, yeah. so PG is saying, for some reason, they have a different algo for Bronze, where every battle is like 12 mana, no rules. Yes, Maybe that's the new. Yeah, yeah, but see that that adds to it, right? Like bronze. This is what I'm saying. Like bronze, just as a as a league, sucks. And so, I, I don't know how how would you? Okay, let's 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 uh, put on our thinking caps here, Dark Sign. How would you improve bronze? And I'm not even thinking from like a new player experience, but it's just like I hate playing in bronze because it's so boring. But I can also understand that it's also really difficult for new players who are trying to understand and learn the game. So bots aside, it's just like how do you make the league more interesting without changing the complete nature of the game of like having levels at, or abilities at the higher levels i think they've already done that right 
the incentives are there to get out of bronze, right? Mm -hmm. You have access to the card, I mean, the rental market. Learn what cards are the right ones to get you out of bronze, just like we just said. Use those cards and get out of bronze as quickly as possible. <laughs> I mean, that's it, right? Like, bronze is not meant to be fun, right? There's, there's hardly any rewards down there, right? It's like the level of somewhere like well, down. Well, the thing is, now the, the fact that you can get way more chess, I think, is great for people in bronze because yeah. now they can start to rack up, you know, rack up uh, reward shares or not reward shares, but rewards cards and start leveling yeah. them up. If you're stuck there, then you get more rewards, right? Not a problem. But again, I played in bronze for like four months before I even knew what progression was, mm -hmm. right? Um, and it wasn't terrible, right? I, I was playing a card game that I liked. And the, the, again, the, the rewards were such a small part of why I played the game. I didn't even notice, right? It wasn't until later as my collection started to grow that I was able to understand what that progression was and I, and I then moved up. But I think for, if you're gonna be in the game long-term, the expectation is even though you're playing at bronze is to prepare for the next level, silver, gold, um, mm -hmm. collect your cards, get the right cards to be competitive. The problem that I have, and I think you have this now, you're starting to have this, is you have so many cards in your collection that you're not even using. Yeah. Right. And so, so, and even when you're picking your team, you're having to pick through all of these cards that you never even use. Right. So, um, hopefully that answered your question. I, I think I feel like I was going off into the weeds. No, no, it's good. I, 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 yeah. I, again, I don't think there's a right or wrong answer. It's just how, how do you improve it? Like, I, I, I think, get out of it. I, I, I think it, as, as experienced players, anyone that's listening to this channel, uh, clearly has, they're investing time in something that they like. Mm -hmm. um, getting out of bronze should just be a, a priority. <laughs> Yeah. Well, the thing is, renting renting the power is easy. It's actually fighting the battles that could be tough. Yeah. Now, so to to PG PG's point here, I I think I would actually I don't know if this is what you're trying to get at, but I I actually think it might be worth considering for the team to introduce higher mana caps as well as different rule sets early on because every time i've done that run through bronze it's like until you get to maybe bronze one or like almost at silver that's when they start introducing things like earthquake and poison and like those rule sets come sure. in but the whole like 12 mana like standard rule set or 12 to like 12 to 25 mana standard rule set like i get i agree that that gets really boring over time so maybe they just reserve that for novice where people are learning and if you oh, add more rule sets, even at the lower ends of bronze, yeah, there's going to be a learning curve there. But I think it makes the game way more interesting. So, I mean, yeah, there's, I mean, there's pros and cons for both, right? So what you're saying is make bronze more fun. What I'm saying is don't make it more fun. <laughs> make it better to get in silver or gold and, and climb, right? Yeah. Um, I, I, I just, I'm not a fan of just kind of hanging out out there and bottom feeding, if you will. I mean, it's a mess, right? It's 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 well, bots. It's we're it's we're not we're not going to go down there. I mean, I, I wouldn't go down there voluntarily, but I, I am trying to think about it for like I, I guess I am trying to think about it for newer players. And it's like, yes, I I understand what the team is doing by trying to make okay only standard battles early on, but it's like just 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 throw them right in the fire because you're yeah. throwing them in the fire right now with bots who are optimized to beat them. Oh yeah. Right. So absolutely. so bronze bronze is actually one of the most difficult places to play in. So right. it's it's like if you if you throw a little if you throw a little chaos in, right? Throw a little randomness by having a poison yeah. rule set or something. Like sure, yeah, the bots will still have a certain level of advantage, but they're not going to have the most optimized decks for you if the rule sets are all kind of randomized. Then I, okay, now I can answer your question. So given that perspective, um I think to make it interesting in in bronze, that periodically, not every game, maybe one in a hundred chance, a legendary card would show up in your collection that you could play during that one battle and then it disappears. And you don't get any reward shares or anything for it, but you have the option of using a really powerful card um, to throw in that chaos, as you said. You know, the mysterious stranger appears, right? Um, because that would make it interesting, right? But mm -hmm. other than that, get the heck out of, out of bronze. <laughs> oh man, you just gave me a. <laughs> you know, I always come up with, try to come up with. Ideas. I know, dude. I love it. So here, here, here's a cool rule set in the future. There's, yeah. there's a card that is not viable 
or it's not openable in, in Gladius packs. It's a rule set card, and both players get it. And it's just like it's a legendary card, and it's like both players have access to it if they want. Probably yeah. legendary neutral, right? And it's just like this both players can use it if they want to. And then or a new rule set that says you can use your your Gladius cards, right? Oh, that would yeah. Yeah, uh, all that, cards that would played. destroy some people, but yeah. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Speaking yeah. of which, I need to get back into the gladiator circuit. Yeah. Uh, or brawl circuit, I should say. All right, where do we leave off 